This is Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to show you how to sync a separately recorded audio track with a, uh, a video and audio track recorded on a separate device. Now, there are a couple reasons you may want to do this. One is that you, you want a better quality of sound. For instance, if you have your camera set on a tripod and you're walking around talking, and the mic is on the camera, as you're getting closer and farther from the camera, your voice will sound louder and softer. So what you might want to do is you might want to get a lavalier mic, like I have clipped on right here, in a, in a small digital recording device. Uh, this is a Tascam uh, DR5. Uh, and you can put the recording device in your pocket and you can um, string the cord through your clothing so it's not as noticeable. And you can walk around and although the audio on the actual camera won't be as good a quality, the quality on the recording device will be um, much better and you can sync up the sound later and have a very consistent audio sound because the audio is following you. When they do uh, movies and uh, TV shows, they will have a separate sound man recording on a separate device uh, that will um, kind of be following the people around and they'll have boom mics just out of view where you can't see them so they can get the audio really good. So um, uh, that's one reason you might want to do uh, that. Also, a lot of times on... TV broadcast, they'll have uh, um, lavalier mics clipped on them, like newscasters will have that, and they will have a uh, device in their back pocket or strapped to the back of them that actually um, broadcasts the, the sound and they record it separately. Uh, that's another way you can get um, sound to a device. You can actually use a uh, wireless microphone. But those tend to be a little more expensive. So uh, a digital recorder is uh, the way to go for a lot of people, particularly if you have to sync up the sound again later anyway. Some people will actually use a uh, wireless microphone with a uh, regular uh, video camera, and uh, that way they get the same effect as recording the track separately and having uh, you know the same kind of point of view for the microphone at least where the microphone is following you around and of course you can get into some uh, more or less complex type of recording situations where you're recording separate tracks uh, for example if you're doing commentary on a video game or a video and you're capturing that you can be recording on a separate device and put the track in later is like a voiceover. What you always want to do in order to sync audio with video is you want to have a visual cue in the video and if you have a soundtrack in the video that you're just going to replace that will help too as we can see in a second. So on professional productions they have um, the little slates with the clappers on them where they slam the top of the slate down and it makes a noise and that's what they cue on is because they know that snapping sound is right when um, the clapper hits down together. Uh, what you can do in your own videos is you can actually get one of those if you'd like or you can just clap which will do a similar thing. It will give you a distinct sound and a distinct visual. You know that the sound is being made when I hit my hands together. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, so here's a demo real quick. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a clap. This is our demo video right here and I'm gonna sync it up right now
And uh, so I should be in sync. And we'll see that in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to uh, sync these audio tracks using Sony Vegas uh, Movie Studio. But the process would be similar in any um, video editing software that you would use. So I've pulled in this video track that I shot, and I pulled in the audio track that I shot right below it. The, the uh, track that's highlighted in green down here is the audio separate audio track, and this, this track right above it is the track that was recorded with the video. So let me scroll down here, and as you can see, um, the first thing we'll do is, see I started recording the audio track a little before I started up the video, and so there's a little longer blank area here in the front of this audio track down here than up here, but we can actually line up approximately these bumps together. You see that the bumps follow the same pattern here. Now um, if you are recording on a video camera and the video camera is a distance away from you the patterns on these bumps will be the same but they won't be as uh, tall or tall. They'll be the same width but but as the audio gets quieter the, the, the bumps don't go up quite as high but it will still be the same pattern that you'll be able to see. I'm going to scroll over here and you see this pattern right here it's repeated up here too because these are the times that I actually clapped on the video this was when I was telling you you could just clap to um, use as a sync and this is when I actually did the demo clap right here so if I click up here above here You'll see I'm uh, clapping here. So when the clap is together, this this is right. When it's together, it's right right just slightly after the sound. We can actually broaden it up here a little bit. And I think we can. but this track right here is actually synced up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sync these marks up together here and um, we have both videos on at once so let's let's play it and see what what happens this is a so they sunk, sunk up let's see here play it again This is our demo video right here, and I'm going to sync it up right now. Now, another reason we can tell that it's in sync is sounds like one audio track. I'm going to move it off sync slightly, and we'll see what it sounds like. This is our this demo, demo video right here. There's like an echo there. So when we have them exactly synced up, this is our demo video right here, and I'm gonna sync it up. Yeah. You can actually change the scale here, magnify it so we can get it exact. Try it again. This is our demo video right here, and I'm going to sync it up right. So you, you can see there's not any e appreciable echo there once it's very close to being sunk up. Uh, it just sounds a little bit louder. So um, right now, and uh, so I should be in sync. All right. Now the reason it's nice to have this audio track here is it's a little harder to sync it up with the video itself 
you can, uh, but it may it may be a, a little bit of trial and error to get it really exact, and you may have to render the video because a lot of the times the video will run a little slower than the audio um, on a lot of the um, video editing software. So whenever you can, use an audio track to sync it up with like this. So let me uh, just, I'm going to zoom into it. You can zoom in and out and it changes the time uh, span and it makes it a little bit easier as well because if you zoom into it, these marks get farther apart as it's representing more and more time and so uh, it can be easier to uh, sync that up by just zooming into the right level. So what we'll do is we'll go back here. I've already got it sunk up. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go cut off the front of that. And we have it lined up here. And uh, let's see, one more time here. With a clap. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this video and I'm going to splice it in after this point to show you what it's like, the final video is like. All right, now before we actually render the uh, video and, and finalize it, one important thing to remember is that we have two soundtracks here now. They're synced up, but we only want to hear this bottom one, so I'm going to hit this button here which is mute and when I play it back we only hear one. This is our demo video right here and I'm gonna sync it up right now. So um, remember to mute the audio that was used as you, for your syncing but you don't want to hear that. You want to hear the other audio so leave the other audio unmuted. With a clap This is our demo video right here, and I'm going to sync it up right now. This is Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy technology.